I don't understand why this recipe didn't come from the date night section because it literally has the dick emoji in it. Hi, welcome, come on in. My name is Aoife and today we are back in the kitchen because I am doing a, an ever so slightly overdue rendition of cooking the books. That is where I take you through every single cookbook that I own, whether that is a physical cookbook, one on my Kindle, one that I have borrowed from the library and, ser and surreptitiously screenshotted recipes from, and I'm going to cook something from each of them. So recently I asked on Twitter and on Instagram what people wanted to see, if they wanted to see something vegan or vegetarian, or if they wanted to see something Italian. And it was really split. Everybody on Instagram said that they wanted to see something Italian and everybody on Twitter said that they wanted to see something veggie or vegan. So I said, hey, why not do both? So today's recipe comes from the quick roasting tin by Rukmini Ayer. Ayer? Rukmini Ayer? I have seen this book on so many other channels. I know that Lauren from Lauren and the Books is obsessed with this. She probably has more the straight vegetarian one, but this one is chock a block with vegetarian and vegan recipes. And they are very easily pointed out to you right at the side. So spoiler alert, this is what we're cooking. It is zucchini courgette, a macaroni pasta bake with, um, it says boars and cheese. I couldn't find that. So I'm just gonna go with feta. And it also has like two tins of tomatoes. I'm really excited for it. Also, this book was very, very kindly sent to me by Paige from Pages with Paige. She sent it to me. It was on my Amazon wish list, and she sent it to me maybe two or three weeks ago by now. And I could not wait any longer. I have to cook something from it. The first thing that you need to do is set your oven to 210 on a fan, 220 if you don't have a fan, or gas mark eight, because you're gonna need to kind of do the veg first before you put everything else in. You're also going to need to put a saucepan of water onto the boil so that you can actually cook the noodles that you're going to put into the pan. It's probably a better idea to cook them before you put them into the oven so that they're actually somewhat soft. cooking and the veggies in the oven kind of just having its first go. What is the rest of the stuff that I need? Two tins of tomatoes and where did I put it? You also need some panko breadcrumbs to kind of scatter over the top of it and this is where the fun begins. You're supposed to use boars and cheese for this which I could not find because before today I hadn't actually heard of it. So instead I'm using feta and they said that that was a really good um kind of replacement for it but if you're gonna use feta, you need to use a bit more garlic and herbs. So what I have done is I've put the veg into the oven with a little bit of garlic from like a squirty can that I have and some just like Italian herbs that I have hanging around, some basil, some oregano and some thyme. And now my kitchen stinks of garlic. It's like Dracula's worst nightmare in here.
So, 20 minutes later, this is how we're looking. It actually looks really good. It looks very close to what was in the book and it smells amazing. Cannot wait to get trying this one. Taste test time. I'm gonna try and get a fork with like everything on it. Yes, yes, yes. This is good. Probably just needs a little bit of salt, but that's like a personal taste thing. Um even though I put in a good amount of garlic, I don't really taste all of it. Um, but this was so simple. I mean, it was just cooked pasta, roast vegetables, put everything together, put it into the oven. It's so simple. I will probably swear by this book for the rest of my life. So I'm gonna go do. So I'm gonna go and enjoy dinner. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I have new videos up every week. Now get on out of here.